And tonight we are getting our first look at a huge fire, a nine alarm fire through the eyes of investigators. It is the first time we're getting to see pictures and video and documents used to track that fire that took down Echo Foods in Burlington. Our Jeremy Ross has details on the Burlington fire that cost hundreds their jobs. Jeremy, what, uh, what do you have? Well, Brad, about 300 people used to work inside the plant behind me this evening. Burlington's mayor tells me that number is only about 100 in some form or fashion. We are talking about a company that makes pre cooked egg products, things like liquid eggs or French toast, and it's a company that continues to clean up months after a huge fire. January 30th, an officer drives towards one of Burlington's largest employers. What he discovers sends a handful rushing out of the building and sends first responders rushing in. If you keep everyone back here, I'm going to block the road off because the tankers are going to be here pretty soon. The Echo Lake Foods plant would burn for hours. About 300 firefighters from 90 departments, including some from Illinois, tended to the nine alarm blaze. Daylight began to show the extent of the damage, and for the first time, we are getting a look at the chilling photos taken by investigators after battling the smoldering flames in below zero wind chills. Those images include the extent of damage inside the plant where the fire burned hot enough to melt lighting fixtures and send debris dripping to the floor. In a fire report spanning dozens of pages, investigators detail how they determined the blaze began in the boiler room, but the cause remains undetermined. It also reveals why they took a look at a former employee who may have had an axe to grind with the company. One worker told investigators that man texted, quote, you're going to have a very interesting week. That former employee was later cleared, and the fire was called unintentional. A more detailed look at a blaze that took about 2 million gallons of water to smother. A fire detailed, dissected, and debated by professionals long after the smoke cleared. Evacuated everyone from the immediate area. It is important to point out no firefighters, no people were harmed in connection with this blaze. Burlington's mayor tells us that some of the plant's operations were moved to nearby plants, but the hope is the rebuilding process can take place here sometime next year. We're live in Burlington, Jeremy Ross, Fox 6 News. Well, some tense moments downtown today. Milwaukee